Hey, welcome back. So what exactly are we going to learn in this series? Well, we're going to learn what Composer is. We just need Composer to install Laravel and to uh, make sure that our dependencies are in sync. And then we're going to learn what Artisan is. We're going to see how to install Laravel. And then we'll look at the folder structure because Laravel follows the MVC format, as I mentioned earlier, which is the model view controller system. I will explain what this is uh, in detail. And then we'll look at how the routing system works in Laravel. And we'll see what controllers, models and views are, which is the MVC. And then we'll look at this thing called Blade. So there's Blade templating in there so that you can uh, quickly integrate your variables into uh, your HTML. It makes uh, that process much easier. And then we'll look at form validation, how to connect to a database, how to build queries, and then how to do migrations. Uh, so if you don't know some of these things, that's okay. We're going to go over them in detail. And then we're going to create a practical project where we create something that is actually useful. So let's look at how to actually install Laravel. Now, the easiest way I would think of installing this is to use Composer. Now you can install Laravel without Composer, but I would suggest as a beginner, you use Composer because it makes things much easier. So if you go to getcomposer.org, you get to this page right here, which has Composer. And then if you click download, it's going to take you to this page where you click on Composer Setup, if this is for Windows, of course, and then you download it. I already did download this. It's a very small file. I think it's like, um, how big is it? Maybe uh, one megabyte, you know, very compact stuff. And then uh, just begin to install. So what exactly is Composer? So Composer is a dependency manager. So what exactly does that mean? It means you can specify uh, all the dependencies in your project. Let's say, for example, your project depends on a package. Let's say some classes, some PHP classes that are, or let's say your project depends on PHP, for example. You are using PHP in your project. So all you have to do is create a file. There's a file that's created which contains a list of all the things that depend, that your project depends on. And then Composer will just go ahead and download all those things for you. So this is why uh, Composer is awesome. Now, before we even get to Composer, the important thing to remember is that we need a server. So a server, of course, is required in order for us to run any website at all. So just like you would have a website online that uh, for you, for that web website to work, it needs to have a server. So the same thing, we're going to create a local server so that we can use it locally to pretend like we are on the internet. And then that way we get exactly the same kind of environment we are developing on, which we're going to put on the internet as well. Now, in order to create to log uh, to create a server, all we have to do is go online and download the ZAMP controller. So maybe I can do that. ZAMP like this, X A W M something like this. So ApacheFriends.org. This is where you go. So it's going to take us here, and then there you're going to just uh, simply download. Uh, ZAMP there. Looks like my internet is taking forever, so I'm just going to ignore this one. So once you download ZAMP, just install it. Uh, use the default settings, don't change anything. And then once you are done, here you can select which one ZAMP for Windows and so on. Okay. So also, if you already have ZAMP, please download the latest one and install it because we want uh, Laravel 8 which we are installing here, will not work if you have something less than 7, uh, PHP 7. Point, I think it's 7.3 or so. So just to make sure you have the latest uh, version of PHP, just 
download ZAMP and install it. Now, if you're reinstalling ZAMP on a system that already exists, make sure you back up your database, export your databases, then you can import them later once you finish the installation. Okay, uh, very good. So now, uh, once we have installed ZAMP, we're going to have this control panel here. So open that control panel, select Apache and MySQL, make sure you start both of them. So click start here and start there and you're good to go. So you have a running server once you do that. Okay, so once we are done with installing ZAMP, then we go and download Composer. Okay, now once you install your PHP, it means now you can actually run files, uh, PHP files directly in your command line like this. So if I open my command line like that, uh, it's supposed to be command line, command prompt like this. So if I open my command prompt like that, I can run PHP files from here, okay? So let me come here for, for a second. I will open my text editor. This is just a normal text editor. Uh, so you can use any text editor like uh, Notepad and so on. Here I'm just going to say echo uh, PHP is working, something like this, okay? So this is what I want to do. I just want to test the command line and show you that it actually works. Now for every file that you want to run, um, oh, actually no, here, let me save this. So there we go. Now I want to save this directly in drive D. So I'm just going to say PHP file, or so just say, um, yeah, PHP file.php like that. So I'm just going to save it in drive D directly there and hit uh, save. Now, if I open my command line here like this, and then I change my directory to drive D, wait a minute, why it not change? Okay, let me use the D there and do that. Okay, so now I've changed my directory to drive D and then in here, if I just type PHP like this, and then I will say my oh, PHP file, the file I saved, dot PHP, and hit enter like this, you see that it has echoed PHP is working. <clears throat> now it hasn't echoed it, uh, it has just re regurgitated the text that is in there. But if I add some PHP tags now like this, now it becomes real PHP. You're not going to see the echo and the PHP. You're just going to see PHP is working here. So let's try that. You see it one more time, like so. Okay. And then I hit enter. And you see now the result is PHP is working. So you can run PHP files directly from the command line like this. Okay. As long as you have a, work, uh, a valuable, a, a valid PHP file, you can run it through the command line once you have installed ZAMP like this because it comes with a, what is known as the command line interface. Now, the reason this is important is what I'm telling you this is because we're going to be running a file called Artisan inside Laravel and this is exactly how it runs. So Artisan is a PHP file created by the people that created Laravel and then that file, what it does, it just helps you to create things for Laravel. So you're going to be using that a lot. So it's important to actually make sure you understand what's going on here. When we run Artisan here, all we are doing is running a PHP file through the command line interface. Okay, so <clears throat> enough of that. Let me type exit like so, so that I can exit from there. Okay, so back to the installation. So once we are done with uh, ZAMP, and we have our command line interface working, then we download Composer, that is the second thing, so that it manages the installation for us. And once you've downloaded Composer, uh, you run the installation. So let's run that installation together. Even though I already have it installed, I'm just going to install it again. So here, just install for all users like that, okay? And then just click Next. Just leave everything as it is, but 
In case you installed the ZAMP to a different folder, you have to find this php.exe file. If let's say you installed it in drive D, you have to find uh, where ZAMP is installed and then find these folders there. But if you didn't change anything, no need to edit anything here, just press next. And then here, don't add any proxies, just click next. That is fine, install. Okay, so now we are installing Composer. Here we go. So it's a very small file and it shouldn't take very long to actually finish the installation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of taking longer than I thought or than it did last time. Maybe because I'm recording this, I guess. But let me be patient and wait for it. All right, so it seems I have... Uh, a lower version of PHP, which is 7.2, I should upgrade to 7.3. So I'm going to upgrade my PHP once I'm done with this uh, installation. Okay, so once we are done, we are done. Just click finish like that. And then to be able to know if Composer is actually working, just go to your command prompt. Okay, there we go. And then just type the word Composer like that. Okay. So now if it tells you something like command was not recognized or something like that, it means it didn't work. But if you see something like this, then Composer is installed. So congratulations. That's one step forward. And so once you type Composer here, you see it gives you the options. If you type Composer dash dash help, it's going to display a help message, which is this right here. But then here it shows you how to do other things. But we're not going to dive deep into how to deal with Composer. We just want to use it to install Laravel. That's it. That's its only purpose in, the, in here. So let me type CLS to clear the screen like that. And then Composer is ready to be used.